This is me waking up in first class of an airplane about to enjoy breakfast. And the best thing of all is I didn't pay for the upgrade. This is the ticket I bought, seat 29B in economy. So how have I ended up here? Well, I learned this pretty unethical life hack online where you buy some gift cards at the airport and give them out to the flight attendants. Hey, ladies, in the hopes it makes their day so much better. That is so nice of you. Sometimes they'll offer you a free first class upgrade. Over here. This was the gentleman that gave us. Oh, thank you. Very well. And once I land back in the UK, I have a whole day of unethical life hacks to complete before I can sleep. On with the rest of You do not want to miss this one. Thanks to Shopify for sponsoring this video. Now for the first life hack of the day, we're starting off simple. I found loads of business events online which dish out free breakfast. Now I'm just about to rock up to a local council business briefing meeting that comes with breakfast. So I walked in confidently, knowing if I just acted like I belonged here, no one would question it. Wait, why is there security for a free event? Actually, maybe it was something to do with the protests going on outside. We're on strike because we don't get paid the same as oh, cool. we're... Honestly, I've just come here for free breakfast and somehow I managed to get involved with some local council drama. But in some ways, it did make me feel less guilty about taking their breakfast. You know, sticking up for the little guy. Oh, cool. I'm in over my head. But I couldn't let it get to me. I was here for one thing and one thing only. But there was still one event organiser to get past. Breakfast. Yeah, For some reason, I wasn't on the list. Don't have your menu. You sent it to them? Phew. So, with my name badge on, it was time to see what they had for breakfast. One buttery croissant and a cup of OJ. A good start. Now I just needed to leave the place before the event starts so that I don't have to listen to two hours of, oh no! Now, if it means that you have to keep crossing roads in the rain, that isn't particularly encouraging. It isn't going to be... I was trapped and this was really boring, for me at least. I needed to get out of here and after spotting another person making a headway for the exit, I took my chance. Tasty pastries, just a few too many slideshows. Two stars. Next up, I fancy a little bit of leisure. And in London, there's lots of fancy five-star hotels which have lovely spas if you're staying there. So for this unethical life hack, I'm gonna walk into the spa with my robe on in the hopes they think I'm staying in the hotel and let me in without my room key. But I couldn't just walk towards the entrance of my robe as there was a guy on the door. Afternoon. How are you? Good, thank you. Good man. So I had to find a place to get changed once inside. And for some reason, I thought getting changed in the lifts was the best idea. Luckily, no one followed me in, so there was only one thing left to do. Yep, my genius plan was to pretend I'd gone swimming and got locked out. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. How are you? Very well. Can I pass you this card and come down? I had a reception there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're staying in the hotel with us at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, God, this was bad. And the next few excruciating minutes go like this. I stand at the check-in desk and write down a fake name. I answer how my stay is going. How my stay so far? Lovely. Could not complain. Everyone gets suspicious of me. Is indeed, yeah. This lady realises I'm not staying in the hotel. Meanwhile, the other lady finds my clothes in a pile around the corner. That's my stuff, yeah. Oh, okay. And my camera dies right at the point I get grilled. So I walked on out of the hotel, still in my robe. <laughs> right, so the last hotel spa experience didn't go too well. In fact, it was one of the worst experiences of my life. Oh, okay. This time, I'm going to walk in with my robe. For some reason, I thought this was a good idea. Things I do, eh? So, I approach the entrance. Just me, my pasty white legs and my untrusty robe against the world. Let's do this. I walk straight through the restaurant, past the first staff member, then another. I had learned from last time, this is all about acting as if I stayed there. Just here for the spa, yeah? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have a look, yeah. 
<laughs> Phew, he was friendly. But I knew after the last one that there'd be another person manning the door to the spa. I just needed to guess the secret password. Well, that was a relief. No excruciating conversations this time round, and I was in one of London's nicest pools. I just needed to keep a low profile and not embarrass myself again. Would it be possible to get a shot, my girlfriend, of me jumping in the pool? Super cringe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I've embarrassed myself again. High risk, high reward. Four stars. Now, I may have went to that business event this morning for the sole purpose of getting breakfast, but I used to go to these sort of business events all the time. That was when I ran a business called The Health Water Co. One thing that stayed the same through my entrepreneurial journey is that I've always used Shopify to launch my own products, whether that's the one million subscriber coin or maybe a silly little trucker hat for clouds. There's no clouds there right now. Shopify lets you sell online, in person, and on all major social platforms. I've always loved how easy they are to use. The website editor means you can literally build a website in a number of hours with no coding experience at all. I mean, look at that. That's a good looking website. They also have a mobile app which allows you to add new products really easily. But my absolute favorite feature of them all is this live view. And you can see exactly where your customers are right now in the app. So if you're feeling like me and you want to bring a creative idea to the world, then use the link in my description. I'm sure you won't regret it. Lunch time. Food markets, home to the free sample. Hi, just try it. Just try it. Chicken. But they're not going to serve this face more than once. That's why I need to go back with the skies. Oh my god. We're not even going to be able to eat the chicken. 100% natural. This ain't going to work, is it? Oh, here goes nothing. Hello. Any free samples? Just an old man wanting some chicken. Thank you. 84. 84. Yes. Oh, delicious. I'm eating fur. They definitely know. <laughs> Even if I do know, it still works. Poor Hugh. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Hello, one chicken, please. <laughs> I'm just going to go straight for it. It goes nothing. Hello. I know you. I'm just kidding. No, you don't know me. No. I'm 20 now. Oh, really? Can I have a bit of chicken? No, get a food. He tried two times. Do you want me to sing you a rock song? No. Give me the chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the sample. <laughs> oh, God. The chicken's good. They've rumbled me so badly. Oh, God. Yeah, there was no chance this one was working, but there was no time to dwell. I was on a testing mission. Hello! Nope. Okay! Yeah. You look so sexy, my yeah, What are you talking so about? Sexy. Oh my god! Will you be my girlfriend? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh One more girl? What a sexy figure. Thank you, thank you. You're still fine. Thank you. Thank you. Will you be my girlfriend? No. Please. I'm interested in men. Man, I can be mad for you. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I think that's my last course. No. I have no dignity left. One star. Now for this next hack. I'm going to test the theory that you can get in anywhere with a ladder. It's a classic on the internet. Safe to say I wasn't confident in this one. The fact it had been so overdone online surely meant most cinema staff would immediately know. Where is it? This is empty. With no staff by the entrance though, I quickly scurried into the lift. Here goes nothing. Right, we're in. I knew the staff would be waiting as soon as I got out. I checked both sides and the coast was clear. But then... Oh yeah, you just on fixtures down here, right? I can't believe it worked, but they were definitely getting suspicious of me. I needed to act believable. Nothing like a quick fire alarm check to prove I'm a true ladder man. You're all good. Now I just needed to find a film to watch. Ooh. 
Ich ja auch nicht nachkommen, aber ich kann auch so. Now, as I sat down to enjoy the movie, for the most part, what I didn't realise is I had just been spotted on their CCTV and they had gone to get their manager. This is the text I got from my producer, so I had to make a quick escape. As I left the screen, there was no one at the desk, so I made a quick dash for the lift to get out of here. Unfortunately for me, though, the staff members were already one step ahead of me. Oh, hello. Hi, mate. Hi. Went down. And with that disappointed look, it was game over for the ladder. Everyone's seen the TikToks and you need to buy a ladder. Zero stars. And now I was down to my last unethical life hack. Signing up to free events just to take their pizza. But what is super unethical about that? Fun board games for local children and a couple of young adults. Of all the things I've done today, this one made me feel awful. Taking candy from a baby is inexcusable, but taking pizza from children has got to be a close second. But these were unethical life hacks for a reason, and I was committed to see this to the end. Game for pizza, guys? Yes. Yes, you're here. Yeah, hell yeah. However, upon arriving, it became apparent that we were pretty much the only people there. These three legends had put on an entire event with board games and pizza, all for free, and only two kids had turned up. So we couldn't let them down, and after a few mouthfuls of the tastiest free pizza I've ever tried. Wow, look at that. Cheese pizza. We were gonna put on the greatest game of Jenga they would ever witness. I've never lost. Until tonight. We were two minutes in and the tower was growing ever taller. And it didn't take long for it to catch the eye of the event organizer. Not at this moment, please. Oh yeah, this is Joanna, but you'll meet her properly later. First, I had a Jenga game to win. Never lost at Jenga. Nah, will. I'm just too good. We kept adding and adding, and the tower still wouldn't topple. This is the highest Jenga tower I've ever seen. Would it? Soon enough, we had taken centre stage for the board games evening. The whole room's gone silent. <laughs> I've never lost a game of Jenga, and I never will. Oh, don't you don't you stand up. Somehow I'd kept calm under the pressure. Pressure makes diamonds. And the tower was so unstable, everyone knew the end was near. But with a lucky loose find for producer Molly, no way. It looked all over for oh. Scott. Oh no, that's a big jiggle. <laughs> oh, it's a bit stuck there, Scott. I held my breath that entire time. Look, where's the round of applause? Where's the cheers, guys? Come on. I don't think that's right. Well, it's a little late in the process now. I can't even see straight anymore. <laughs> You're ticklish, right? Don't you dare. <laughs> no! <laughs> I lied, I've lost many times in Jenga. <laughs> sure, yeah. Let's do it. We then had a few games with everyone, which didn't go quite as well. <laughs> and it was actually a really wholesome evening. Master of chaos over there. Yeah. I know this is supposed to be an unethical life hack, but I like to think we brought a little bit of happiness to the organisers. We even got chatting to Joanna at the end, and she told me why she started this thing in the first place. It's to get people in and create sort of an inclusive environment, just to get people engaged in their community. We're all having fun, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. uh, that was possibly one of the more wholesome experiences of my life. Starting to feel a little bit bad, to be honest. All these unethical life hacks, there's a victim at the end of it. I just got free pizza and board games, pretending that I live in the local community. So, a few weeks later, I wanted to right my unethical wrongs from this video and give Joanna a little surprise. So, I sent my friend in with a few vouchers for some more board games and pizzas for her next event. Hi there, I've got a delivery for Joanna. Oh, lovely. I'll just wait over here. Hi, uh, Joanna. Yeah. yeah. I've got a delivery here for you from the uh, Jenga champions. Oh, yeah. yeah, they were the Jenga champions. <laughs> lovely. Have a lovely evening. Bye, guys. Uh...